We're going to look at how to create a few different images for our media queries. Um, this is going to be the desktop image and it is 800 width and 50 height. And we have two media queries that we're going to um, create additional versions of this image for. So we, we have the 550 and the 370 pixel media queries. So we're going to look at a workflow to uh, create different sizes of uh, the same image, basically. Although for our smaller one, we're going to cut off this logo test, and we're just going to go with uh, whatever the size is. We'll do 370, and that's, that's all it will show. But rather than working with three different files, um, which would take longer to do, we're just going to keep everything inside of one workspace. The first thing I want to do is uh, create a folder. We're just going to call this one large. And we're going to take our layers for this image and put them in this folder. And then we're going to duplicate the group, folder group. I'm going to call this one medium. We're going to create another. We'll call it small. And um, you may want to use widths, specific widths, rather than large, medium, small. So now we're going to work with our medium. And to do that, let's go ahead and move it. So I've got my pointer up here. Oops. All right. Right, what we need to do first is increase the height of our canvas. So there is some working room. This is only 50. 150 would be plenty. I'm just going to go to 200. Just give it a little additional room to space things out some. And this is medium. I may not even have needed this layer back here, this layer one copy. But uh, let's go ahead and size it down some. I'm going to hold down Shift, grab a corner. I'm going to go to about here so it's still readable. So the Shift and dragging allows the proportions to maintain. And now I am going to change this to 550 for the text. Yes, apply the transform. And this is actually 800. Oops. We have, okay, we have our small in here. I need to get out of the way first. So I will go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to change this to 800. Okay. For small, we're going to remove this. I'm going to change this to 370. And we're going to do a transform on it. So it's pretty small. Okay. Now what we want is to slice all of these up. And right here is the slice tool. You probably will have the crop tool. And just hold down until the little menu pops out and then you can choose slice tool. So what I'm going to do is draw a box around each of these images. And that is going to create slices. And the last one for small. I'm going to go ahead and save this PSD. 
let's see. And this is just going to be simple, responsive logo. And that will save all of our slices as well. Now I'll save for web. Make sure we can see everything. Okay, so you can see it's a little grainy. I'm going to go up to this medium here and choose PNG 24. And that will give our transparent background. I'm going to do the same for the large PNG 24 and click the small. We'll do a PNG 24 as well. So each of these can be independent. But before I do this, we actually need to do one other thing, which is give these slices a name. So I'm just right clicking Edit Slice Options. Instead of it coming, because what would happen in this case, if I left it that way, save for web, it's going to, this is the name it will give it, .png. I want something a little better. I'm just going to do MD for medium. And this is going to be large. And this one will be small. That is more descriptive. Now we'll save for web. So let's just put these back to what we had earlier. So you can see our names are there. Now we'll save. And we're going to put this back into the folder we had earlier, which is this one. And it will create its own folder for these slices. So let's look at that. Here they are. So there are some byproducts. That's okay. You can see here our slices.